and good morning to everybody there on the stream, whoever you are. If there are anybody, that's a good thing. Sorry, my wife just hijacked this whole story here, um, but she saved the cat from going outside. So that's the gist of that story. <laughs> By the way, to start a stream, you know, <laughs> timing. The timing is just everything, I'm telling you. Anyway, okay, right. So we are going to do the same flight now that we did yesterday. The only difference is we're doing it in 2020 opposed to explain 12. So yesterday we had explain 12 with the... Um, uh, what do we call it authors and now we've got the 2020 with its stories you know so let's have a quick look around um we've got the same scenery from the same people i believe in explain 11 but they haven't updated to explain 12 yet so this is what the pay where stuff looks like there's a nice mural over there we just had a look at me and uncle john and so on so yeah that's that's the big story the big difference now is just 2020 with a PMDG and for those of you that have not seen the actual livery yet there you go and while we're on the subject of the livery just want to get a bit closer oh the zoom is not nice there you go if you guys are interested in this livery you can download it from flatsim.to I put the links in the discord in the VA liveries room and you know what let's actually share it here on the stream as well then you can just click the link and go grab it please see VA liveries where is VA liveries now so there's two versions um, the first one is the BW that's got the blended wing over here and the other one is the SSW, which is your split uh, scimitar um, wingtips. Okay, so I'm going to give you both. I can just find a way to post this thing now. All right. Good morning, Steve. Uh, Stratocast, good morning. So, here's the first link. And we'll grab the second link just now for the SSW. No, 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 the, it's the word edited. We don't want to give them that. It's not going to help them. But good, good eye, good eye. You, you spotted that very quickly. Right, well, there you go. So if you guys are interested in the PMDG, this is for the 800, obviously. George said that he'll work on the 600 and the 700 when he's got time. Mm, we, can, we can then give that to you guys as well. On that note, thank you, George. Yep, I've thanked him a few times already, but thank you, George. You know, we appreciate it. So, I think we are at the point where we can actually push and go. I don't know if anybody wants to fly with. I don't see anybody. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect Iveo. Then we can just have our own fun. We don't have to worry about ATC. If we want to fly with somebody or somebody comes in and you want to fly with just tell me and we'll change the plan again but for now that's it all right so let's go um let's start this apu what time's your load shedding this morning kev uh, we had 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock this morning, and then we've got 4 till 6 this afternoon. So why aren't you flying now? Pardon? So why aren't you flying now? Uh, because I've just switched the computer on, basically.
Hmm. Steve, I only saw the last bit of your message now, the winnings. Nah, we, we decided we're not going to throw away money and go gamble. We just had a very good evening, had a good dinner and came home. I'm just going to let the APU wind up a little bit, get some steam going, and then uh, start our push back. Doug, standard left, box on, standard L, and then nose to the left, and then we need to remember to steer the bloody thing. <laughs> I have heard that steering helps. Yes. We should be over a minute by the time we need to start. It was a good evening, yeah, we liked it. It was nice having fun, take some pictures. And Right, we're starting the second one almost now, so almost ready to go. Let's put some fuel. Did you know that, Kev? What's that, uh, John? If your eyes hurt after you've had a, a cup of coffee, you need to take the spoon out the cup. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Christopher, for one. the joke. That was Christopher's joke. <laughs> yeah. That's quite a good one. Don't tell Reggie, you'll be telling everybody all day long. Mm. Yeah, that's a bam. 
banned. Right, though, looks like we're ready to go. We've got flaps five. Um, that brake is off. Take off config test perfectly fine. I hate it when there's a second view. Right, and let's see. Yes, sir. And you know what, I don't spend time on it so much, so I keep on forgetting that I still have to do some sensitivity settings. Uh, Owen, ask Owen. Oh, Steve, Owen should, uh, Owen's got the one, I don't know if it's the latest one or when he bought his, but he's got it. Oh, this thing is very really sensitive. Look, you just touch it and it just goes. You just touch it and it goes. Uncle John, when I've got time again, oh, look at that. I mean, I'm trying to now steer it straight and now it's going all over. When I've got time again, I'm, I'm going to sit and I'll work it out. It's like it's not really a high priority for me because it, uh, it only affects me when I kind of taxi and whatever. Yeah, cool. No, not really. Not really. I don't move my feet that much when I'm on the runway. You see, what happens is it's like because both my pedals my feet and the tiller are active. It's like it amplifies, you know, the, the whole burning process. Hello, buddy. What scenery is that, uh, Nico, that you downloaded? I don't know, it's some payware thing. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, where did I get it? I can't remember. I'll have to search it in um, 2020 and then tell you where I got it from. I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. But it's payware. Um, and it's the same guys that did the x 11 one. As far as I know. I think so. Nice, nice on your way. Yeah, enjoy. Nice. I love Pokemon. Yeah. Nice place. Everybody's strapped in. Yep. We're ready to go. Approaching two eight on runway two eight. Yes, Krester, I still need to get that scenery. Um, I saw you posted that yesterday, but I, I still need that. Day, so. 
Alright, and Toga. Uh, look, see, it's very sensitive. Yeah, if there was a crosswind right now, I'd be kind of in trouble. Okay, Crester. Thank you. That's weird, Krister. Remember Sasso was telling me they don't oh, sorry, let me rephrase it. They have speeds and stuff that they set when they do this takeoff. And now I can't remember what he said, but there was a whole recipe in flying this departure in the real world. It's not just get in and go. There's a whole thing. Stratocast, yes, and I run FS Realistic, the same company's version for 2020 right now. It's, it's active, so you see the little bit of bouncing in the cabin and stuff comes from the same program, just in a different sim. Hmm. Yeah, 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 because I remember he explained to us. Oh, yeah, and there we go. I've got DirectX 12 enabled, and the artifacts, that stripes that you see now is my reward for using an AMD card, unfortunately. And the funny thing is, other guys with AMD cards tell me they don't have it. Like Rab, yeah, he says he doesn't have it, but I have it. So I've never had that, Nico. Yeah, that's weird, man. I just don't get it. I can, I, I wasn't explaining, uh, DX11, I'm talking almost nonsense, on DX11 for the longest time, and then this morning I thought, Ugh, why don't we just try DX12 again? Ah, there you go. It's my reward. I don't think it's really ready yet, DX12, Andy Go. Well, my, my performance is really good in it, and I like the way it displays. It's literally just this one texture. And you know what the funny thing is? Look, it's only when you look from inside the cockpit out. It doesn't happen on the outside. So it's like whatever texture is used to create height, and it's not PMDG. Okay, it happens on the other aircraft as well. Uh, or I haven't tried the Phoenix, but some of the other payware I have, as well as the free, the, the freeware built-in aircraft. If you sit in the cockpit, you see it. If you get outside, it's gone. It's it's like mist or overcast or there's fog or something. It's it's one of those textures that seems to just hate me. Rob, do you run X, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator in windowed mode like Nico is doing? No, full screen. I wonder if the X12 needs full screen. You see, okay, well now now it's a bit late you ask me because now we're out of it. But if we get it going down, please remind me, we'll try full screen. Okay. But you're whispering so he doesn't hear you give him a compliment. Okay, all right, Kevin. Yes, sir. You got a compliment, but Uncle John didn't want you to hear. He was whispering. Okay, but take it from me. You got a compliment. Crikey, lordy. <laughs> Wait, I better, I better tell him that one. <laughs> I didn't want it to go to your head, son. <laughs> <laughs> 
every once in a while, I think Uncle John, it's worthwhile to maybe just tell Kevin he's, um, he's okay. Yeah, you got a good compliment. Okay, I love you. Good man, I love you, Mac. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, yeah, this is volumetric clouds, yes. Always run it in full screen mode. The whole problem with full screen mode is when I do my streams like this, Patty, yeah, I click in and out and in and out and in and out. Now, in the old machine, it was a problem. So now I've got this habit established, right? Um, if it crashes out now, it's your fault. Okay, but let's have a look, see if we can change it. I'm glad it's going to be Putty's fault. Yeah, yeah, no, it won't be yours, not this time. No, this is not Kevin's fault. Listen, everybody, not Kevin's fault. Okay, <laughs> so there you go. Now, now in the old machine, you see there's my cursor. I'm going to take it out now, and I'm going to click on the outside. What it did was it used to flicker, and sometimes the, um, the streaming software would lose the connection completely, and I would basically quit quit you know rage quit and then go and sulk in a corner somewhere but okay it didn't do it and strangely enough it's not doing anything now i'm clicking in and out of it the whole time you guys might have a point here we'll see we're, we're definitely going to keep an eye on this now yes again thank you kevin it's an absolute pleasure it was actually the budgie that told me that john the budgie Kevin, I figured that, but I didn't. I didn't want to let him know the trick. Did you hear that? I did. Now, and Christopher, just to comment further on on what you're saying there. Um, this is the latest, latest beta of 2020. Um, we never got off the beta track the other day. Me and Patty said we were going to look for a gap to get off, you know, where we don't kill our flight sims and have to reload and install everything. So, um, yeah, now we're kind of stuck. We keep on getting all these beta updates and you don't know what they break huh? or, or not. So. Oh, yeah, no, buddy. No, look, look, look. I don't usually rage quit, but when I'm on a stream, there's a certain expectation from both me and the viewers that we're going to, you know, finish it. Now, and I tell you what, the once or twice that we've had power failures where I lost a stream, you can ask my family. I was I was a bit off for, a, for an hour or two afterwards. I promise you, I it knocked me, man. You want to punch a hole in the wall when these idiots switch the power off. That's basically why I rage quit. But, oh, and the other day, what was it? We were fiddling with x 12 and it also had crashed. I, I didn't take it that bad, but I was really unhappy when the stream couldn't finish. You know, and it was my own fault. I fiddled. I don't care what the updates are, but it's been fiddled with. It's not mainstream. It's not the, the released version. That's all I'm trying to say, you know. Yeah, so these are benign little updates, but you get other ones that could have a seri more serious effect. I mean, look what happened. How many times I lost the PMDG autopilot with one of those beta updates. And I mean, I had to just wait it out. I couldn't fly, fly the sim until they fixed it. You know, so things can happen. Well, I think it's coffee time. Ooh, I've still got coffee. Just one sugar for me, Cap. Right on, mate. One sugar. Krister, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm I'm tapping the side of the, the cup because I want to take my um, teaspoon out now. Just FYI. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> He's got one black eye. He doesn't want two.
Well, Patty, you're the one that said you're going to come back to me and tell me when it will be safe. So keep your eyes peeled, buddy, and let me know when it's safe. Drop me a note, and then I'll go exit this thing. I don't keep tabs of this. You're the guy. You, you're the man. Yeah, no worries. You're welcome. Take one for the team, buddy. That's it. Yeah, no, they, they're really nice textures and stuff. I'm using Xenviro to place the actual clouds. Okay, so that's the weather injector that I'm using at this point in time. But the textures and the rest is all 2020. Yeah, true, buddy. Yeah, I can imagine. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello, Peter. Hoe gaan het? Het gaat heel goed, man. Ja. Hey. Last day of Uncle John, hè? Eh? Ja, he's just jumped up. He's busy going through his suitcase there. And I think he's remembered to do something. <laughs> so he jumped up like, he a, jumped up. like a rocket. Choo, and there he goes. <laughs> sad day, sad day he's leaving. Yeah, it's going to be a, a bit of an issue later, I'm sure. Yeah. We, we're going to have a nice big braai after this um, the stream. And I've asked my neighbor to come and join us here. It was three quarters of whatever we did wouldn't have been possible without him. You know, he supplies us with a little bit of solar here. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a... I could send off then. 
going to be fun, yeah. I'm like a little child sitting at this window watching outside now, just looking at these mountains. Right, so we've re reached our cruise. You found what you were looking for, Uncle John? Did you find what you were looking for? Uh, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. You're flying again over at me, eh? Okay, Peter. Well, to let you know, it's snowing over here. All right. Hey, good horse, horse. Oh, hi, Kevin. Yeah, oh. I see. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Peter says we're flying overhead him and it's snowing where he is in the real world right now. Yeah. That's really nice, but you can keep the snow, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. It's uh, uh, right now it's around zero, but it's going to be uh, minus 10 to minus 12 tomorrow, after the day after. Damn, that's cold. Yep. Yeah, we have to do that so we can enjoy the high temperatures and the snow, eh? Uncle John says um, those temperatures are okay, he doesn't mind them. Ah, that's not too bad. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the one degree in the UK is what he's not looking forward to. We're sitting here, what is the temperature? Let's have a look-see right now. It's 28 degrees. Oh, there it's changed. It's updated. It's 26 degrees right here, right now. Imagine going from 26 to 1 in a few hours. Just <laughs> And welcome to Augusti Schiphol. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're flying into Birmingham or into Manchester? Birmingham. Okay. Ouch, Krister. Interesting. 
it's now on Wednesday, Uncle John. Where? Yeah, by you. Oh. Yeah, Steve says. Yeah, Steve. Go back to sleep, please. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, everyone. Ooh, there's the man himself. Good morning, George. I have one request. You have a request? Throw out three initials right now. First person. I need three initials. RDB. Okay. Thank you. Okay. But no, he's probably putting it on a paint. It's a registration for an aircraft. I did not realize. Let's go see. I can't even tell you which one this one would be. But I didn't realize he put my initials on one of these paints and his initials, or at least something resembling his initials. You see, and this is NDB. The SSW with the split wingtips, that has got a, a, a different George initial on it. I didn't know that. He told me afterwards. And what's nice, I mean, he didn't plan it. I, I doubt he ever planned it. It just worked out that way. He just made a good, you know, guess decision in the beginning. Is in X plane, I always fly the split scimitar, okay? That winged up. But in 2020, I just purposefully chose this livery to fly with because it's got a different wingtip just to be different. So in 2020 this is the wingtip and next plane the other one's got the wingtip, you know, so and it just worked. Check now. 11.56 Yeah Well, hang on a second Maybe this thing isn't on real time I'm thinking this thing is not on real time That's the problem Because we're already past 12 here Put it on real time <laughs> now we've really messed it up because this thing says 12.58. Two minutes to one, sir. We're going to make it by the skin of our teeth. I will. The one thing I do find interesting in this flight is it's not keeping a steady altitude. It's up and down and up and down. See, it could be weather related. Are you flying over the mountains, Nico? Could be updrafts. Could be. I was over the mountains, Kevin. Not sure if I'm still over the mountains. And I've actually cleared them a little bit. There's still a little bit on the one side, but... We're not over the big, big, big mountains. We're just over the little mountains now. But yeah. you're, you're right. Oh, it's terrible. 
Only problem is that's what you got because the moment you do this. Oh, oh. There we go. Huh? Now we're in the drone view. Can you imagine that drone is flying so fast to keep up with us? That's a good drone, eh? That must be a golden one, cost a million or two, eh? Huh, that's not bad. Special drone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sitting there in my seat with my mobile phone controlling this thing. It's flying all around us. Yeah, I moved. My son wants to know if it needs to make this noise all the time. When, when we're outside, it does. Yes, sir. And I'm already ready. I just put my t-shirt on, if even. Uh. It looks to have uh, settled down a bit now, Nico. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's possibly those bird winds uh, going over the mountains. We'll have to ask Sasso if they experience things like that in the real plane. It must be part of it, Kevin. There must be something like that. I can virtually guarantee you. It, it's it's more real, more real than we think. Next time it starts bouncing around, turn on the updrafts and look. Oh, of course, I forgot you can do that now, can't you? You can visualize them.
the stop of the sand creeping up already, you see, see. Okay, you go do that. Now I'll prep for descent. I'll prep for descent. Come on, 3000. Stop fast. Um. Need five thirty nine. Five thirty nine, and I think we said one zero two three. Let's check it later again. With twenty twenty, it's so easy. It's the old Microsoft shortcut B, and then you go Barrow C. Right, so we are set. One zero nine ten. Yep. 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 Seems like there's been a lot of snow around. Okay, yeah, mine is due shortly. Ninety nine nautical miles. T7, uh, I can't fly without FS realistic. I mean, look how lively the actual aircraft is. It's not static, you know. Look, look, look at the movement. It's, it's something I've just grown used to that makes my life really worth it. You know, it's wonderful. Now, I don't know if you've seen Flow. I'm not using the payware version. This is the actual freeware version. And I like this little thing. You know, it's better than the bar here at the top. For me, anyway. So, uh, it works nicely. I mean, it's got everything I need right there. You get two other payware versions of it, um, you know, like a, a medium or interim version, and then you've got the advanced version where you can actually write scripts and do things, but that's more for programmers. And um, 
sorry, the other thing that I obviously like a lot is my XN Viro. So I'm using XN Viro for my weather. Uh, I just like it. Works for me. Yeah, you get flow from Orbex, so just go into Orbex. Um, you can always uninstall it if you don't like it. Pick the, the free one and just play with it a bit. It's good enough for me. Oh, that's nice. You can do it in the freeware one as well. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't think you can, just asking. You know, GSX is the one thing I haven't bought yet. Just haven't invested in it at all. I really like it, GSX. Hmm. Yeah, we keep figuring out a little bit each day and it gets better and better. Okay. If I buy you it one. Your design, yeah. Yes, no, not yet, not yet. If I buy GSX one day, I'll come to you guys for some training. You can help me set it up. I'm sure. Well, the nice thing about it, Nico, is he's constantly upgrading it, I must admit. Hmm. Maybe give it a second. I'm watching. Ooh. Nice, George. Ooh. A little different on the belly just because it's so small. Yeah. Can I see this on screen quickly or not? Yeah. So for those of you waiting, wanting to know, uh, let me get the right screen to share. Hey, that's the 600, eh? Yeah, sorry if I hit push to talk, it changes my view, but yes. No problem. Nice, nice. Even has an edge. Yeah. Have to fix the Y in the schematics, it's kind of like the schematics. <laughs> yes, I see. SKV Maddox. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, she's in good hands. Little bumblebee. Thank you, George. That looks amazing. Yeah, we'll get to the 700 sometime this week, maybe. Okay, cool. I don't suppose I have to press the button. I'm sure we can check it now. Is there any way here you can see that I have to go? I click on add. Okay, we'll go there. Aye, man. Mitch, come. 
every time I click on it, it goes away. See, I'm not too familiar with it yet. How do we get back there? There, there we go. I don't seem to have another option to add. Look, there's no more add buttons. It doesn't want to add anything. And as far as I know, it had the word add on it. So this might be a limit, a limitation. I can, I can get rid of this one. Let's let's substitute this one. Let's. Uh, settings. Okay. We can get rid of the MS ATC. We don't want that. Um, is there any anything I can search? Teleport, yeah, it's not in here. Mm -mm. Bummer. It's terrible. Nope, 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 I'll have to investigate that then later. There's no teleport here. Oh, there. MSFS Travel 2. Is it not that one? Well, what is this MSFS Travel 2? Is that not something similar or something? Okay, I see, I see, Patty, I see. All right, okay, what what we'll do is we'll investigate this story and then see if we maybe upgrade. Because I must admit, that sounds like a neat function to jump to another airport without having to go through all the menus, man. Because that was really cumbersome. In the dev tools, it's a little sketchy, so... Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's, it's possible that it's a payware limit, so we'll investigate. If you want to see what it does, I have it up right here. Right. Enjoy, buddy. No. We'll start the singing soon. Oh, you're very quiet now, George. Bring your mic close. I'm just scared that this teleport's not going to work. <laughs> uh. I said we're starting the fire at 1, so I said any time after.
good. And there's the descent, Uncle John. Gents, I'll be back in five minutes.
I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> Uncle John says I'm scary. Hello, Mac. I notice you there now. Good morning, gent. Hi, Mac. And I see David's here as well. Morning, David. I don't watch the Discord screen the whole time, so I only notice you guys now. Well, there those stripes start to appear again, and I am in full screen DX12 rab. They, as soon as they came, they disappeared. Altimeter setting. I see the 4070s and the TIs and the 4080s and their TIs, they are in abundance now here in South Africa, you know, if I waited 30 days I could have gotten that instead, but it wasn't available. I've seen Jordan's abandoned AMG as well. Oh, mine's too old. I can't take it back now. They will never yeah. give me credit. Unfortunate. Mind you, you'd have paid a lot more for one of those. Yeah. 
Well, they start at 22,000 South African Rand, Mac. I got this what? AMD at 8,500. 8, That's yeah. Okay. You see now the jump from 83 to 22, although significant, wouldn't have been that bad. But now I literally have to fork out the whole 22 grand. So mm. that's the problem. Ain't yeah. gonna happen right now. We've got other plans. So it's the only only time and only place where I do have issues is now in 2020 with DX12, okay? So right. it might be that Microsoft fixes this DX12 thing in another update or two. It's gone anyway. The performance in 2020 is stunning. The squad is magic. But yeah, we all know the issues in x -Plane. So I'm not, I'm not that unhappy. I am, but not that unhappy. I'm not going to, you know slit my wrists because of this no Nico, no. There's, <coughs> Nico there's a lot of people having problems in direct in uh, explain shelf with Nvidia cards as well is it oh. yeah, I've seen a few on Facebook and in forums like 3080s oh, 3090s okay I, I want to tell you something the city series for me doing support work as well i see the city series coming up a lot 3070s 3090s having lots of issues and um that's why i'm i'll rather skip them yeah no 2080s you had you have one it's good it's fine but for some reason the 3070s and the 3090s i don't know they just pop up a lot a lot they come up. Anyway, we're almost on the ground, Uncle John. Oh. Altimeter setting. Wara, wara, wara. I'll be looking through the forum, Nico, the mm -hmm. MSFS forum, and it always seems to be 6700 XTs at something that problem. Mm. Right, everyone, everyone I've seen so far, the people saying they're having that has been a 6700 XT. Really? Really? Had to be my luck. Well, there was a known problem with one of the drivers for that particular car. Mm. Um. Now the problem we have now discovered with AMD and their drivers is they will fix one thing and break another thing. So, yeah. you know, you, you can have it probably fixed by going to the latest driver and you won't see the stripes, but then you won't get more than 25 or 20 FPS where I'm currently mm. pushing 50, 60, 70, where I, you know, depending on where I fly. So it's kind of mm, tough, you know, now you just look at the stripes and you get it over with, as long as you can handle it, it's okay. And it doesn't seem to make any difference what driver you use. No, no, I've tried the professional drivers. You know, what, what did they call it? Studio drivers, professional drivers, whatever. I brought the other gaming drivers. Oh, they all do this. Look, as long as it is on the forums, it means that it is known. You know, it's not just a Nico problem. So, just let it slide until they fix it. And the funny thing is, they'll probably fix it on the Wednesday uh, the day after the Tuesday that I buy my 4070 Ti, you know, and we'll get the notice. Oh, look, it's fixed. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, so it's low. I mean, I bought this card and literally, I think I got it on the Thursday, the Saturday. 
my supplier said to me. The same supplier that said to me, no, there's no stock of the, foot, the 3070s. On Thursday, on Saturday, they published, oh, no, look, we got new stock in. Here's your 3070s. But I can tell you one other thing. A lot of these video YouTube uh, video reviews and stuff about the 4070s, the guys are not talking very favorably about it. And it's not about the performance and stuff. It's about the money, it seems. They say it's overpriced. Um, that's one of the comments I've picked up on. And the others say that um, they are kind of, uh, how can we put it without getting in trouble? They're kind of saying something about the performance with I which is relative to something else being true and if that something else isn't true then actually they're lying <laughs> <You> know, so <laughs> marketing you know <laughs> these marketing guys are clever yeah. hi guys yeah uh, it's, that's exactly the thing with the lss mm -hmm. if you switch it doesn't use the L that, or they claim i read it yesterday they claim the 38 the card outperforms a 3080 by x percentage but that is only true if you use dlss now yes. dlss if if we know as we know it um do have its own challenges yeah now, i haven't seen anything on the 4090 yet but um we know that dlss can cause other other stuff issues yes, but yeah. without dlss it's not faster than the 3080 yes. for, uh, which they compare it with Yes, yeah, 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 that's what I was trying to say, yes. Uncle John, if we only compare like for like, we wouldn't be good salespeople. Now it works. Yeah. Okay, Nico, I've um, shared my screen. Once you've landed, I can quickly show you the flow and what it does. Um, but I suspect you will need to at least have the first, the middle version, um, which I have. Okay, all right. It, it's very possible. I see it's f just under 16 US dollars to buy the facility. So if it's worthwhile, I might consider it sometime. Because, I mean, this whole way of going through all the the menus to get from one airport to another is really painful sometimes. And um, have you considered disabling X Environ and see if that, those stripes go away? But there it goes away. Oh, you're through the cloud. Yeah, and there is still a little bit at the top. Um, I've actually... I actually not tried that. No, let's let's. Do okay, it. but don't do it now. Just now you crash off. Oh yes, just, that's also just true. Next time when you see it, or maybe do a mm. test later on or whatever. Yeah. Um, because I'm using DirectX 12 at the moment and don't have that issue. But then again, I have Nvidia cards. Mm. So I'm not sure. I haven't seen that yet. Yet. It seems it only affects the 6700 XT cards. According to the forum, you said yes. That makes sense. And it only affects you when you are in the cockpit looking out. If you go outside, it's not there. It's literally, it's that layer in the cockpit window that you look through, in my opinion, that causes the problem. And it's not just PMDG. I've seen it in my other payware and in the included freeware aircraft that you get. It's I just haven't tested it in the Phoenix yet, that I must be honest.
Yeah, I'm looking at your stream here, or well, it's running on one of my screens here on the side, and the next moment I hear that engine spool up, and all, but it sounds like it's outside, and I'm trying to figure out what is happening. My engines are not spooling up. There's no funny sound here, and then I realized, oops, sorry, I'm watching the video. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit loud. It's this guy taking off now. <laughs> Just move away. Now I've muted your stream now, so it doesn't scare me again. For some reason at Barcelona, Fight Sam always wants to use runway too. Yeah, this is according to flight radar, so um, if is it, this is this FSTL from Fly by Wire tool that I use, and they use um, flight radar's data, so I don't know. Well, they're using, they're taking off on 24 left and landing on 24 right. But FSLTL always seems to get it wrong at Barcelona. Yeah, it's definitely not 100% accurate, but it, it's doing a good job. It makes it a bit more immersive, eh? Yeah, it does. Right, Uncle John, I'm about to land. I just checked on flight radar that fueling that just take took off here yeah, used runway two for light, left, not a seven or a zero two old. Approaching two, four. Is the runway, Uncle John? Flight slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. Uncle John, we might park faster and kill the stream faster so we can get that fire going. So no we'll see. We shall see. I'm also going to have a nice braai now. Nice. 30. Long landing. Oh, and then Long it bounces. Landing. Listen, I'm going to have to Long check landing. this um, sensitivity because I just 
lifted my nose and it just went straight up. The other thing that really annoys me, which I'm pretty sure I'm right about, is the fact that I don't think they calculate their V-speeds correctly. There's too much speed left. Way too much speed left. Once you, once you kill your, your throttles. But that'll have to investigate further. Uh, you need to set your sensitivities on your rudder and your yoke. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, but... Can I go, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, we have to apologize and we need to rush off. So, let me just try and see how quickly we can... ...shut down okay, and all. Once you're done, just to quickly have a look at my screen and I'll quickly show you the... ...flow thing. And yeah. then, yeah, we'll, we, we can talk later about it as well, but... I'm if you don't have time now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apati, just show me. I'm watching. I'm taxiing, but I'm also watching. Okay, you see you have this option, portal. Yes. What this does is it shows you where you are and so on. And if you have you have online friends, etc., etc., and where they are. Okay, okay, cool. I didn't see that option on yours. And no, then no, this no. is the position one. Okay. So here, that's your current position. And then if you want to... Um, I don't know, I, I haven't used this yet, I, th I tested it once, but somewhere you can type the IKO where you want to go to, and it teleports you there. Uh -huh. So, um, the only thing about that is you, you can, um, the only thing about that is it, it places you in the direction you're facing, so you will have to make an adjustment, but you can uh, teleport to any gate. Okay, all right. And I think this is maybe only available on the, you know, the, the yeah. first. Yeah, I got the first one, the cheap one. So, mm -hmm. um, because if I go here, I am. I don't have extra buttons as well that I mm. can see I can add. But yeah. So, Thank you very much. Right, but but mm. you enjoy your Brian and last few hours with Uncle John. Hundred yeah, percent. Catch you later. Thank you, and thank you to everybody mm -hmm. watching. Thank you to everybody for the good wishes. Have a nice bry and have a good flight, Uncle John. Yeah. Uncle John, they're saying you must have a good flight. Thank you. Um, uh, talk to all soon. Yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Stay well. Bye -bye. Okay. Just Bye. remember to just remember when you get off the aircraft, have your coat on, John. I'll tell him, Mac. I'll. I'll